Hello everyone, today we're going to look at a, a vintage pen that I've had in my collection for a little while. And, um, well, it's, what can I say? It's from a company that, anything I've read about it is often referred to as a third tier or lower tier company. And that is the Moore Pen Company. Um, this is a Moore 94A. Uh, I forget the dates exactly. Probably the 30s, maybe the 40s. I should have looked that up before I came in here. I'm going to say the early 40s. Um, and it is actually for something that's regarded as, say, a third-tier company. And when I say third-tier company, they made... Um, uh, it was an American company. They made fountain pens. They are no longer in existence. Um, but when you think of the big brands like Waterman, Parker, Schaefer at that time, they were the first tier. And then this was a smaller company. Uh, I believe it was in Boston. If I'm wrong, let me know. Where were, where were they located? I think Boston. Once again, I'm, I should have looked that up. But hey, that's what we do around here. We just launch right in without really knowing what we're talking about. <laughs> anyway, I've had this pen for a little while, and I've tried several different inks in it, and it's a, a really nice little pen. And right now, what I have in it is Waterman's uh, Harmonious Green. And we'll do a little writing sample, but first we're going to look at the pen. So it's, it's beautiful. It's actually a beautiful uh, striped celluloid uh, celluloid and it feels like uh, i don't know if you can I, it's hard to tell you how uh, it feels in the hand it's just smooth it's warm it's it it feels so nice it does it doesn't feel like plastic right and i'm not i'm not saying there's like plastic is the high-end plastics or the high-end resins are similar in feel, but this really feels nice. <laughs> it has sort of a Art Deco clip. There's a little simple uh, finial. And it's, it has this sort of nice con concentric rings occurring here. Um, it says more. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try to get that in there. It's slightly tarnished, probably just cheaply gold plated. Uh, as you can see, there are cap rings, what, four little bands right here. Um, the plating has probably rubbed off over the years, or, or it's just kind of like a coppery material. Um, it's a lever filler. It's hard to find the lever filler, actually. It's right here. <laughs> uh, sort of blends into the material. Just a little one. So it has a latex sac... Uh, um, ink sac inside uh it's a screw cap and it's you know it, it it's it's a, a vintage a vintage pen vintage pens uh for those of you who haven't really tried them are often small in comparison to say a modern pen um let's take a look here's a that's a platinum preppy right small pen and there is the more in comparison, quite a bit smaller. I should have actually shown my Sailor Pro Gear next to that to give you an example too. Um, but what I do like about this, it's not a thin pen. There's a bit of girth to it actually. If you look at it, it's pretty much the same uh, barrel uh, circumference or whatever uh, as the Preppy. So it actually feels quite nice in the hand. So anyway, it's a screw cap. You unscrew it. Black section. Gold nib says more. Um, it's a fine point. Uh, ebonite feed. And, you know, this very small section. And you can... It's, but it's not uncomfortable, you know. You can feel the, the threads right here, but they're not sharp. They're not uncomfortable. And when I look at, sometimes when I look at an old pen, 
one of the things I look at is, are there bite marks? <laughs> and there doesn't seem to be any. You know, it's got a nice little dimple on the back of the pen right here on the barrel. And yes, I do tend to, to post it just because it is fairly small in my hand. I, I, I have normal human man-sized hands. They're not overly large. They're not overly small. They're just normal. And, you know, for me, just unposted, this is a bit uncomfortable. So I like to post this pen. And people are probably screaming at me saying that, but I post my pens. I don't jam it on when I do it, but anyway. So it, it makes it a nice length in my hand. Might, might, it, and it actually balances it out very nicely um, in my hand. Now, one thing I noticed about this pen is that it actually has a very good cap on it. Um, I could leave it sitting for a week or so and it still writes, uh, <laughs> you know, I, or even a couple days, a couple a week. I haven't ex really seen how long I can leave it before it dries out, but it doesn't dry out overnight. It's, um, I like that. <laughs> it's very handy. Sometimes vintage pens, they can dry out overnight. Uh, so the, what are we doing here? A writing sample. Yes. Back to the, back to the thing I'm doing. The, the writing sample is a quick brown box. Now, if you notice, there is a nice bit of line variation in this pen. I'm not going to refer to this as a flex nib, but there's a bit of spring to it, a bit of softness to it. It's not a hard nib. Um, and you do get some nice line variation, as you can see in my writing sample, my poor handwriting writing sample. <laughs> the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Um, yeah, so I have Waterman's Har Harmonious Green, Waterman, Watermans, Waterman nowadays, used to be Watermans. And a pen friend recently sent me a sample of the Har Harmonious Green, and I really like it. It's kind of an emerald green, doesn't necessarily match the pen. <laughs> uh, this is more of a nice, you know, moss green color uh maybe a sap green a bit of black um beautiful stripes uh but it looks really nice in the pen and it has a lovely flow it the, uh, the ink is is wet enough and it has a nice flow to it that um it seems to work very nicely you know uh yeah so there you have it the more 94a uh more is no longer made, but you can still find their pens online or at different sellers. And even though it's not, say, one of the more famous or top tier pen mat manufacturers, the 94A is a lovely pen. And if you ever come across one in good condition, they're not that expensive. Well, you know, considering what you're getting. And anyway, do you have a more 94A? Do you have a more fountain pen? Where was more made? What year did they go out of business? Hmm, I should go read about it, but read it up. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you're new around here, I invite you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, what else? Oh, I don't know. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.